My name is Barb Hush. I work for the Door County Library at the Forestville Branch in Forestville, Wisconsin. And I would like to show you today a craft that goes along with our summer reading program, Tales and Tales. And it is a fairy jar. I'll let you look at that close up. And it's very easy to make. It looks a little more complicated than what it is. It is basically a piece, you just take a piece of black paper and a half a sheet will do. And you can cut two of these jars out of each half. That's about the size that I made it anyway. You could make it any size you want. If you have cardstock, cardstock's very nice to work with for these projects, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any construction paper that you have in your house. So basically what we have here is a black jar like this and a popsicle stick. These are the things you'll need. And the fairy wings are like this. And all you need to do for the fairy wings is take a piece of paper and a piece of paper like this and fold it in four. And then I just cut out a leaf shape like so. Sort of like a, a leaf. And then when you pull it apart, you will see you have this shape. And because I cut it on the crease, I have doubled that amount and these will be your wings. You can make them in any color you want. The wings can be whatever color you want them to be. And then you would just staple this in the middle or glue it in the middle. And then you would glue it on your popsicle stick. And then let your child decorate the face like so to make a little fairy. And you could also, you could glue yarn if you wanted on to give her hair. I just colored her with magic markers. I made a face and I colored her with magic markers. And then for the wings, I decorated them with some little lines and squiggles just to give it a little texture. And then of course, I always like to use colorful things like this. little jewels, I guess you call them. So to make this fairy in a jar, here you go. And you just glue your little bobbles on there, your little gems, and make it really sparkly. And I did cut a little slit in the jar, and then I stuck my little fairy in there, her little popsicle stick in there, and I glued her in place so that the kids aren't pulling her in and out, but you can leave her loose if you want, and they can play with her like that also. So here it is, a fairy in a, a, fairy in a jar. I hope you like making this. I think your kids really will. And it can be a boy fairy, a girl fairy, whatever you want it to be, or just, just a butterfly, or let your kids decide what they want this to be. It can be anything. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Bye.